Hello there, Whipper here, and today I'm going to be showing you a mod called the Flintlock Guns mod. And this mod adds six new guns into Minecraft, which each have different statistics, so they each have a different durability and range and stuff like that. And this mod also claims to be different from all the other gun mods, because it has a more realistic way of um, reloading the guns. Most gun mods you just like press a key like R to reload, and you're instantly ready to fire again. But this mod uses the crafting grid in your inventory to reload the weapons, and it's more realistic because in real life it takes some time to actually reload the weapons. You wouldn't be able to do it instantly about half a second. So it makes it more balanced according to the mod creator and I agree with him in that way. So anyway, the first one I'm going to show you is called the makeshift pistol. And I'm going to go through these and show you how you reload them. But I'll put the crafting recipe for the actual weapon in the top left of the screen up here. So if you want to learn how to craft it, just look up there. So the first one is the makeshift pistol. And if you put gunpowder and pebble in the crafting grid, you're going to load it. And you can only load one shot into these. And this particular weapon will only have a durability of five shots. So after five shots, it will just um, run out and you won't be able to use it anymore and you'll have to craft a new one. And this one also has a range of ten blocks. So if I try and fire a chicken ten blocks away, I'm not actually going to be able to hit it. So I'm just going to show you now the effects this has on these chickens. I've chose chickens for this um, mod showcase because if you saw the Minecraft 2.0 April Fools joke thingy, the chickens were all evil and they'd gang upon you and attack you and spawn some of their friends to beat you up, which is very evil. So I think the chickens need some revenge. So here we go. Die chicken. Oh, I was aiming for that one, but that one died. But anyway, you saw that one hit kill the chicken. And all of these guns should one hit kill the chickens or any mob. Uh, at a close range, farther away you fire at them, the less damage they'll do, so as long as you fire at them at close range, they should die. Although this particular pistol has a 1 in 3 chance of not actually killing the mob at a close range, so be wary of that. And anyway, so that's pretty much all I can say about the makeshift pistol. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is the pistol. So this is just the default pistol, and you can reload this one with a round shot and gunpowder, and there we go. And this again only has one shot that you can load in at a time, but this one you can actually load with a book shot as instead of a round shot, which I'll show you later. So anyway, let's just test this out on a chicken. And you saw one hit kill again. The difference with this one and the um, makeshift pistol is this one actually has a durability of 100 shots instead of just 5, and a range of 20 blocks, which is double that of the makeshift pistol. And this one also has a much lower risk of it misfiring, so you can be more confident that it's actually going to fire when you right click. It has a 1 in 100 chance of misfire as opposed to a 1 in 15 chance of the makeshift pistol um, misfiring. So anyway, now I'm going to show you what the bookshot does different to the round shot. So if we just load one of these with a the bookshot, there we go, and fire at a nice group of chickens over there, you can see that three die instead of just one because it has a splash damage effect. So anyway, the next one I'm going to show you is the double barrel pistol. And this one you can actually load two shots into, so if I put it in here and add a round shot and gunpowder and then place it back in again and load it again, you can see it has loaded two shots it says here. And then we can fire two chickens and kill them. A lovely explosion of chicken and feathers. And you can also load this with a um, two book shots as well, so you can get double splash damage effect. But anyway, this one has a durability of 60 shots, so it's less than the normal pistol. But it also has a ra the same range of 20 blocks, so don't try and shoot anything from further away. And this one has a higher chance of misfire, 1 in 30 shots. And if I load this again, I can load this with two book shots and get double splash damage on some chickens. So, chicken death, woo! Anyway, yeah. So that's the double barreled um, pistol which is much better than the normal pistol, although you've got to be wary about when you fire it, it might actually not fire. So anyway, on to the next three guns in this mod. So I'm going to be testing the next three guns on cows instead of chickens, because I think the chickens have had enough punishment for what they did yesterday, so it's time to move on to a new kind of animal. So I think these are cows, they're meant to be 100% beef, although they're probably not 100% beef, they probably have a bit of horse in there, but anyway, here's some cow horses. And the first one I'm going to show you is a revolver. Well, obviously I'm going to show you a gun, not the cow horse, but anyway. Let's put the revolver in here, and you reload this with round shots and gunpowder, like the pistol. And you can actually load this six times, so it's got six different shots. 
so you don't have to reload it um, so often, which is very good help. And it's possibly the best gun in the mod, although that's debatable. Depends what your shooting style is like, I suppose. But anyway, we should be able to kill six cows with this if we can actually aim at them. So there we are. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There we are. So there we are. That's the revolver. And you can fire six shots with it. And this one has um, a durability of 37 shots, which seems a bit random. But when you think about it, there's only six different um, reload, full reloads, so it doesn't really last that long. So be wary of that. And it also has a range of 15 blocks, so a bit less than the pistol. And it also has a chance of misfire of 1 in 20. So it's, it's more likely that it's not actually going to fire when you right click. So be wary of that. So that's pretty much all I can say about the revolver. Apart from you can't actually load um, book shots in it. So you can't add book shots to a revolver. Which is a bit of a shame, but I suppose it makes it more balanced. So the next one I'm going to show you has a unique feature, which none of the other guns have, is it also acts as a melee weapon. It has the same melee abilities as a iron sword, so you can two hit cows. And come on, I can make this jump, there we are. So if I hit this cow twice, it should die and drop its lovely beef and leather. So there we are, you can also use this as an iron sword, which can be very handy if you're in close combat and you haven't managed to reload your musket. And you can only add one shot into this and it uses two gunpowder. So be wary that this is a very... um gunpowder intensive um, gun so yeah so now I can just fire at the cow and it dies and a lovely explosion of beef well a bit of horse in there as well but anyway so that's pretty much all I can say about the musket um, actually I missed out the range and stuff so the range is really long and it's as far as you can see so that pig over there would die if I actually let's test that out so oops one wrong so let's load this again the pig's probably moved by now actually, but there we are. So if there we are, you can see I shot that pig and that's definitely more than 20 blocks away. So the range is basically as far as you can see, so have your end of distance up high when you have this. And also it has a 1 in 60 chance of um, misfiring, so it's quite a low chance of misfire, so it's a really good weapon overall. It's probably not as good as the revolver though because you have to reload it quite often, although you can use it as a melee. I think I'd probably prefer that to the revolver to be honest. It seems all the cows are desperate to get out. Well, sorry about that, you've got to stay in there. But anyway, the final gun in this mod is the hand cannon. And this one's got two stage reload. So it requires two gunpowder and paper first. And then to actually load it, you put a cannonball in there and load it like that. And then you can right click and this one has a massive explosion. So it's probably going to release the cows in a massive horde of cows. But anyway, fire that. Whoa, that was a big explosion. I think it hit the fence. And now they're free, they're running away, but there we are. So it has a lovely explosion effect, and I'm probably going to load that again, because it's awesome. Although it does take longer to reload than the other ones, so that's probably its downside, which makes it more balanced. But it does kill a lot of cows when you actually get it right, so there we are. Look at all that death, all those dead cows, lovely. So anyway, that's all the guns in this mod. Um, actually, I forgot to say the statistics of this one. It's got a range that depends on the arc, so how fires depends on how high you throw it and the angle of firing and stuff like that and it also has no misfire chance so it's never gonna misfire I take that as and it also only has 12 shots before it runs out so it's quite balanced actually and really awesome if you want something fun to use to blow everything up so there you go thank you for watching this is the Flintlock Guns mod and see you next time